Today I'm going to be showing you a private home dining experience in a HDB. We're here at Block 289B and the restaurant is on the 13th floor? Which floor? Third floor. Third floor! We're going to head to the third floor. Let's go. Should we do that again? <laughs> This is a very unexpected place for a private dining experience, so I'm very curious about what food they're going to be serving us. Open sesame! Okay, I've, so I've been told that the restaurant's ran by a couple who are partially from France and Singapore, and it's a family-based uh, restaurant in uh, HDB. They've been open for a couple of months so far only, but they're fairly new. And that door over there is our spot. Okay guys, so we're finally here at Chinoiserie and we're gonna open the door and enter this place. Let's go! I press the bell, wait for the chef or the owner. Hi, good evening! Hi! <laughs> Welcome to the Chinoiseries. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. Pleasure to have you. Let's see. I've been to so many private dinings in Singapore, but I've never been to one in an HDB apartment. And this whole place just gives me a Balinese vibe. Is that how you recognize me? Oh. Look at this little mini Buddha over here. Doesn't this remind you of like a Balinese resort? And it feels like a little sanctuary in the middle of a city. Hey, took this compartment out of a bicycle. Like the bells are still <laughs> working. And look at how creative all these you know, elements, it's just details are. Oh, Buddha. Guys, just by any chance, are you guys Buddhist? No, no, no. This is just for aesthetics. <laughs> I'll go with each other's recommendation. And then we will uh, open the red for. For the meat. Tell me more about this restaurant and about yourselves, about how this place all started. Every time they come, they're like, oh, we love your food, it's so nice. Uh, why don't you start something? Why don't you do like a private dining at home? Because right. it's that so inspired nice. you to have an own private dining yeah. restaurant. Well, the fact that they came back for more means that your food must be amazing. So I'm, I really can't wait to try out your food today. I won't say amazing, but I will we'll try not, not to poison you. <laughs> as long as I don't end up in the ICU. <laughs> also, one more question. Tell us, how did you guys first meet? You wanna go? I, I tried to kill her. <laughs> yeah. Kill her? I missed it, so I married her. Pardon me? <laughs> yeah, well, no, we had a very bad motorbike accident. accident. And uh, oh, that bonded us. Okay, ah, mm. so it's, it was a bonded through trauma. Exactly. <laughs> I see, I see, what a <laughs> love story. Cheers. Wanna start cooking? On medium heat. Okay. And take them in and out, in and out, in and out. How do you take them in? Oh, on, in and out of the oh, stove. The fire, the stove yes. Oh, hey, Gordon yeah, Ramsay yeah. used to do this, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. So this is like a yeah, professional right. method. Yeah. Oh, this is like watching live food porn. <laughs> so this is the setting of her dinner table. We have all these cute ornaments over here. Look at all these engravings on the knives and how delicately. I'm waiting for the food. I'm hungry. First. I'm going to go oh, along. Yes, thank Here you. Here you go. So the first dish is the, uh, the salmon brouillard. So it's eggs with like a cool slowly over low fire. So they are a little bit more runny, although they are fully cooked, with some uh, smoked salmon inside and topped with Ossetra caviar. Ta-da! We're finally on to your first course. I'm so excited to see the food. Open the food. Mmm, smells lovely. Should we, shall we try? I'm going for my first bite. Mmm, look at how creamy the whole consistency is. Mmm, wow. Mmm, wow. They're just gonna film me until I finish the whole thing. Mmm, <laughs> POV, you're on a date with me. Ah, no. 
this one clear. You guys have to try this. This scrambled egg. Gordon Ramsay can go home. <laughs> Let me feed the cameraman because they're yeah. holding the camera. Uh. <laughs> Damn nice, right? Mm. Look at her eyes just like... <laughs> so out of the five dishes, I finally finished the first one which is the Bouillard. So apparently the two L's over here, it's supposed to be a Y. So it's Bouillard. I love how the team specifically uh, mentioned me to finish all the food. <laughs> Like my dream to be a mukbang. <laughs> it's real. Thank you. And then here, over here, is our second dish, which is the red snapper ceviche. Mm. It has red cured red snapper in it, and uh, red sweet potatoes. We have onions. We have some kura for the topping. Let's see. Shall we? Oh, this is uh, such a challenge to eat it <laughs> like a lady. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> oh no! Mm. Wow! This is like a nice mix of uh, Latin cuisine and Asian. I love how they... <laughs> so juicy and tangy, look at that. Let's just take a take it a shot, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna look so unglam eating this. <laughs> uh, with red wine, so very often they use white wine. I like to start red with red wine, so it gives a, a nice a nice color to the a nice color to the to the rice. And it goes well with a with a morel mushroom, which is, which is a very healthy mushroom. Look at that steaming hot pot of risotto. I am salivating already, y'all. Your third dish. Yes. So risotto. It was in Canada mm. ready rice, which is ah. the best rice for, uh, for, for risotto. risotto from Italy. On top of it is a pan fried foie gras. Mm -hmm. So now we're finally on to our third dish, and oh, this smells amazing. Oh. We're gonna cut into the foie. So apparently this is from the best of the best foie. And honestly, there's not much restaurant in Singapore that does foie right. I have my first bite of foie. I wanna cry. <laughs> so good, I love it. This is perfectly seared. Look at the juice in it. It's so moist and tangy inside. Thank you. Um, so I'm serving you a glass of Chianti Classico. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of Chiantis, but Chianti. if you want to choose a, a Chianti, go for Chianti. Okay, listen yeah. to the Italian. I'm oh, sorry. No, French. Don't you think French. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, listen, I... listen to. Okay, cut that. Cut that. Sorry. <laughs> Chianti. Chianti Classico. Classico only. Only. And it goes well with the risotto. Thank you. Okay, let's take a sip of this. Cheers, guys. Cheers. So now we have two more dishes left, and we're next on to the chornitos, which is our main dish. So we come to our second main course, which is uh, it's a beef tornado. Mm -hmm. So it's taken from the heart of the tenderloin, mm -hmm. uh, crusted with saracen pepper, uh, what is called a Chateaubriand. Chateaubriand. The Chateaubriand. This is Chateaubriand. Which is in the so Chateaubriand is the whole center. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Tournado is a slice of the Chateaubriand. I see. I see. So this is probably one of the rarest pieces in a meat in a cow. The most expensive piece <gasps> on the uh, on the beef. Kaching kaching. <laughs> <laughs> of the beef over here. Look at how perfectly cooked this beef is. Together with the sauce. Yep. Mm. Wow. How's the doneness of the meat? Just the way I like it, sir. 
Perfect, melt in your mouth. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, we're on to our last bite of steak. Here come the desserts, the last one. Here you go. So it's a porch pear. Yeah. So it's a pear which is cooked in a spice wine. Mm. So it's a wine, different type of spices inside the wine. Mm. So we poach the mm. pear until it's tender. And then the wine becomes a syrup. Wow. All right. Oh, is this fig or pear? It's a pear. It's a pear. It's it a looks pear. like a fig. It's it so is a soft. Pear. Yeah. Wow. It is a pear. Yeah. Let's try. Mm. Oh, it has a very unique smell to it. I can't figure out why. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I know what this tastes like. This tastes like the black cherry on top of a uh, forest. I can't figure out what, but it's just so no nostalgic, this, this flavor. Very interesting. Mm. 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 The Poiré Poche, which is blush pear. Spiced red wine and vanilla chantilly. Oh, what? Clear! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but many things are older now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very nice gesture. Loved it. So, I finally finished my last course at the Shinoiser. So far, my experience has been top tier. It just felt like a home cooked food that was just impeccable in every sense. The ingredients, how they prepared all these food and also the ambiance, you know, it just feels like you're eating in a Balinese in a sanctuary in the middle of a city. So far I loved each and every one of the dishes. None of the flavors were overpowering and the chefs were actually creative about inventing new dishes together. So is this place child approved? I'd say this place is child approved. Thank you guys. Bye! See you here next time!